Yashagayach to everyone. To be there by this big, big seam. Ili Nishmas Ari Yechiel. Before we get started, I'm going to ask the Oilem to say a capital tilim with me together for the schus of some choilim. Sher hamalos mimamakim karasichadenoi I don't know if you want to call it Tiana as Naha Koshevas, a call to Achnanoi. Emma by Nurse Tishma Yard and I, me, I'm a hoid. Kim Hahasiha, Lamanti Vade. TV, see, I don't keep so napshi, the lid for Roy Hawkalti. Now, if you like Dynami Shimmy Laboyke, Shimmy Laboyke. Yahel, you saw El Al Adonai, Kim Adonai Chesed, Rabbi Mofidus. For who you have to ask is well, Mikala Vane Sov. Me, Shabbat Shalom, Chabad Sayin, Rabbi Mitzvah, Rabbi Moshe, Aaron, David, Shalom, Huy Baruch, Yapes, Achayle, Mishimon, Eli Melech, Ben Yehudis, Chaba, Mordechai Shlomo, Ben Saratili. Barbur, Shalom, Ispalam, Barburam, so no introductions are needed. So let's proceed to being Messiah to this and be a big, big, big aliyah for our Ari. We have two Messiahim. Shai Simcha is going to be Messiah Shisha Siddha Mishnah, um, and he'll say the Hadron, and then Shia Shainison will do a Siam Amasakhlis Megillah, and he'll say the Hadron, and then we'll say the Kaddish afterwards. Amr Abishem and Levi, Osaka Kajbach, Hanchil Hotzadik, Betadik, Shloish Mois, Vasoro, Elomis. Shenema, the Hanchil Oeva Yesh, Voitus Amale. Yesh is Bigmatria, three hundred and ten. Amr Abishem and Halaft, Lemota Kajbach, Hokli Mars, Borholi, Dieter <laughs> and I bow my dame, I bow my dossy. Harem now the noble animal as the race of the Fino, the Pierre Zamkovis is right. Near Clona Nachno, the Tain of the Tain of the Tain of the Stamkovis is right, Clony, the Schmerk of Lame, the Sakhalish Mo. My way to Hakman with the Hakilola, me, Lee, Lee, he leaves him with a Kakal Manu Evish. Little Mash Capricadaka Kivam, his son of Hatad and Elam Dane Hokeha, Omen, 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 Salavoid. Moi Daniel von der Hardin oder im Leben sind uns zusammen der Helke mir schwer wieder mehr los wie samt oder mir schwer kronis. Schani maschki mei maschki mei. Ani maschki mit der Säure wie maschki mit dem Wagen beteile. Ani am wie mein Mann am im Kabel schau wie mein Mann wenn im Kabel schau. Ani rot wie im rot sind im rot sind wir schachas wenn ich rot. Hai ihr lama bo. Schnema rat lehim da geht im wir schachas an zu dem mir mal echt zu mir wenn ihr doch boch. Here <laughs> 
ומפיזרי וזרע זר מעט ודאי לא. ויקום בנו מיקרו שכל עושה בזה לך רדן חי סם. ושלח פחות תשמע עליך אבק יצא את האיזה זכרך כבעיר בימיך ויסיף לך שני שחיים. אוי איך ממין אוי שבחר ואת בסמיילה אדנו יזלם מאית אין אדנו יבר סם מבשלם. Now I'm going to call Shia Sainan Sin to be Messiah Masech this Megillah. Just wanted to say that through this entire Tukufa, Shia was Ari's right-hand man. He was the family's right-hand man, and also Ari's right-hand man. So it's befitting for him to say uh, to be Messiah as well. תנו רבנן משה תיקה להם מישראל שירשוי להם בדרשם בעניין השביניונו של יום היכלס פסח ופסח היכלס עצרס בעצרס היכלס חג בחג. אמרה שאלה מה הוא צריך לכתוב כאן וידע בן משה וכי כל המצוות כולנו אמרו נא לו משה לישראל מה וידע בן משה שמדי השם על בני ישראל מלמד שיהיה שהיה מדבר עמן היכלס כל מועד ומועד בזמן לא ידיע חוקי האלוהים ותרוי סוף וקיבלו וקיימו שכר המצוות עליהם ועל בניהם בזה ובבא הרנו לך בני העיר, וסליקו לך מסכת מגילה. הרנו לך מסכת מגילה, ואתו חלון, דייתו לך מסכת מגילה, ודייתו חלון, נוציא שני מנח מסכת מגילה, ונוציא שני מינון. לא בעל מהדים ולא בעל מדעה עשה. הרנו לך מסכת מגילה, ודייתו חלון, דייתו לך מסכת מגילה, ודייתו חלון, נוציא שני מנח מסכת מגילה, ונוציא שני מינון, לא בעל מהדים ולא בעל מדעה עשה. הרנו לך מסכת מגילה, ודייתו חלון, דייתו לך מסכת מגילה, ודייתו חלון, נוציא שני מנח מסכת מגילה, ונוציא שני מינון, לא בעל מהדים ולא בעל מדעה עשה. יהיו עזם לפניך אדוני אלוהים אלוהים ועשינו שתהי שרסך ומנסינו בעולם הזה ועושים אימנו לעולם הבא חנינו בר פאפה ומר פאפה נחמו בר פאפה אחי בר פאפה אבו מורי בר פאפה רחמו בר פאפה רכיש בר פאפה סורכו בר פאפה עד בר פאפה דור בר פאפה הרב נא אדוני אלוהים נסתי בתרסך בפינו ובפי בס עם חבי סיסרו ונהיה כולנו נחנו וצאצאינו וצאצאי עם חבי סיסרו כולנו יודעי שמך ומדי סרסך מאוי ויסליחה כמינו מסרסך כולם הילי הילי בי סמים בחוקיך למען אויב השלום לא אשכח פיקודיך כי בעמך יסוני ברוך אתה ה' אדוני למדני חוקיך אמן 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 זה לבד. מודים אנחנו לך אדוני אדוני ועשינו שעשם תחלקינו מיושב בי סמים של שעשם תחלקינו מיושב בי קרונות שאנו משקימים והם משקימים אנו משקימים מדברי סוירה והם משקימים מדברים בתים אנו אמן והם אמנים אנו אמנים מקבלים סוחר והם אמנים אינם מקבלים סוחר אנו רוצים אנו רוצים לחיים למבוא והם רוצים את באר שחס, שני מרבת האלוהים תרדים לבאר שחס, אנשי דמי ומיר מלא יחצו ימים, ואני אבטח פה אחי רצם לפניך אדוני אלוהי, כשם שסרטני לסיים בסכס מגילה, כן תעזרני להסתכל מסכתו איסו ספרים אחרים ומסיימם, ללמוד ללמד לשמור ולעשות לקיים, אזכור דברי סלמו תרסך בהבה. ומסכוס כל התנאים והאמוראים, סלמידי חכם ימר לי ולזרי, שלא סלמו שתורה מפי זרי בזרע זרי עד עולם. ויזכיים בי ויסלחך תן חרויסך בשלח פחתי שמר לך והקיצוי שהיא שסיכך כי בי ירבו ימיך ויסיבו לך שנס חיים אור חמי בימינה ושמאל אוי שבכל ובכל ובני אוי זעם הייתם לה יברך עמו יפשולם ומי הקפו חנו נחור מי הרי ולעשו ובו חנו דשמע אל האסרי וים נחפיץ וברכו ומרחוס וביקורי יעץ מבוקרו נביקה ומשיחי חיי חנו ומי חנו וחי וחו בית ישראל בעגול אבו זמן קורי ואם גרו אמן אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
is to reinforce the Havtocha of Tchias Hamesim. So we're all looking forward to that day of Bias HaMashiach when we'll be able to be together again. Because otherwise, the big gaping hole in our hearts is too hard to bear. We can't even begin to feel the void that we feel, to, to describe the void that we feel. My chilek of the Limud Mishnah Mishnayas was Masech the Sukkah. So what the Masech the deals a lot in are the halachas of building the Sukkah, measuring the certain minimum shiurim for the Sukkah, the minimum shiurim for the Lulav, and all the rest. But there's another aspect of the Masech that we can lose sight of. What does the Yantav of Sukkah do for our Neshama? The Yantif of Sukkah is all about being more Arangim Binden to our Bashefer. Being, the masuk, being inside the Sukkah is sitting by Kedusha Tachas Kanfei Hashchino. Binding the Dalad Minan together is all about being Makusher to the Rabboni Shleilam. This is what Ari was all about. I quote in the name of Rav Gutman from the Ramat Shlomo, from Ramat Shlomo. Yiddishkeit isn't just about learning Torah and doing mitzvahs. It's all about Havas Torah and Havas Chesed. One has to really think about these things. If you want to live like a real Yid, that's how you have to think about it. Not just to go through the motions. And as we all know, this is what Ari was all about. That's the Ari that we knew. The love and the dedication to his family and his friends, his Rabbeim, that was Ari. You can see from the booklet that we quickly put together in just these few weeks, the outpouring of his love for everyone and his friendship for everyone, no matter where they came from. Our hearts are forever broken. And you can see how many people are we really touched? Just as Ari reached everyone, I have to say and publicly be Makatov to the tremendous outpouring of Chesed, the friendship and true Ahava that his family and my family have seen from all the Chesed we have received. The support for us, for Shira and her family, and all the beautiful Kinderloch. The Asif is tilling by the Koisil, taking the children out on family on outings, taking them for Yontif, visiting Ari in the, all of the different hospitals, providing food 24 7, dropping off the toys by the truckload. These are all a big Nahama and a big Chizak to help us through this painful journey. Ari was all about Chesed, and that Chesed came back to us, Kefal Kiflayim. Our connection to his yichas and how proud he was of it. I think everyone here has seen the Sefer Yuchsen that he put together and he worked on it in his spare time. I think Ari's days had 36 hours in it to be able to get everything done that he did. I mentioned just briefly in passing about Ari's friends and the friendship for everyone. It's really because of Ari and his friends that we really made a big, big, big Kiddush Hashem in the various hospitals and apartments this past year. His chaver from Skokie, his chaver from OJ, his chaver from Lakewood East, his chaver from Amuna Sistrol, his chaver from Carleen, his chaver from Replacement Skoilo. They were at Ari's side, round the clock, every day, overnight, in ICU, in Hadassah, with COVID, after COVID, and at Herzog. The hospitals all wanted to know who this special VIP was that got so much attention. Well, we know who it was. It was our dear Arla. Yes, Ari was able to create this big, big Kiddush Hashem. And there's so many people that we have to thank. I'm going to mention a few, but I'm sure I'm going to leave out some names, so please be me in advance. And no chesed that any of you did went unnoticed. To, a to name a few, we are forever grateful for all your hard work 
and to their wives for allowing their husbands to give of their time and even give of their cooking as well. So again, be moichomi in advance. Each one of us have a right hand and a left hand. Ari had many right hand people to help him. She is Sanderson. My nephew is Ellie Weiss, Shimon Weiss, Itzi Weiss, and my sister and all of her children and their spouses. Maya Ashkenazi, Emanuel Goldberg, Yaakov Murgi, Yoni Dick, y Yossi Nemirov, Nossin Shore, Yechiel Hess, Shwagi Goldstein, Rav Zucker and Rav Kenigsberg, and Morty Rosby. Well, I'll get back to Morty in a minute. <sighs> One can't survive this ordeal without seeing the many hands of Hashgacha Protest. So I have to publicly be mocked to to Rabbi Shleidem for, send, for sending us a malach, one of Hashem's creations, Kumar. He's Hashem's creation too. Anyone that spent time with Ari saw with their own very eyes the mysterious nefesh that Kumar had for Ari. And we're forever thankful to the Bani Shlem for his shlichas that he sent us. And now I'd like to call on Ari's Rebbe for the past 25 years, Rav Zucker. It's very difficult to continue hearing such moving words from Yedid Nafshi Reborach Shlita. One thinks that the Avelis is felt less and less. But Emma says, time goes on the void in our hearts. Thinking of Ari, thinking of his traits, thinking of everything that we learn from him. So it just gets more and more difficult. Bershus, the Mora da Asr Shlita, Bershus, the Mishpocha, Dr. Weiss, the Mishpocha, and as we just heard, all those that helped and all those that did everything they could 24, 24 7. A lot has been said and a lot has been written. So much to learn from Ari. And unfortunately, even in this beautiful country, I spoke to Shia, I was on my way somewhere, and it was Mamish Kelachayad. There was so much more, so much more I wanted to say at the Levaya, so much more I wanted to write, but uh, I wasn't able. <coughs> I just want to bring out one Nakuda, which is Ashkocha Protest, that we're holding now in Parashas Voschanon. Voschanon is a parasha of Pele. Voschanon, the Shlach Kodesh says the name of the parasha, the toichen of the parasha, Voschanon is Tfila. And the toichen of the parasha, the highlight of the parasha is Aser Sadibris, which is Torah. You know, in Halacha is Torah Lechud, Tfila Lechud. And here the toichen of the parasha, the, the name of the parasha, the Mahusa of the parasha is Voschanon, is begins with Moshe Rabbeinu's Tfila. And the, and the parasha is Ha'achon to Matan Torah, building up the momentum for Matan Torah. You have Torah and Tfila together. Torah is Chai Olam. Tefillah is Chai Yisho. It's Chai Yisho and Chai Olam. This week's parasha is the parasha of the Luchas Shniyas. The Swarm say that if it wouldn't have been for the Luchas Shniyas, it would have just been for the Luchas Rishonis. Ani Amarti Lekimatem. Klal Yisro would have been on a high level. We wouldn't have any dealings. We wouldn't have any in interaction with anything material, anything physical whatsoever. As a result of the Shvir Saluchas and the Luchas Shniyas. The Luchas Shniyas means living a world down here, Psalucha. Luchas Shniyas means making a yichut between Chai Olam and Chai Yisho. The Luchas Shniyas is the Shorosh of Torah Shabal Peh. Torah Shabal Peh begins Brochus, Birchus Hanen, and Hilchus Tefillah. Chai Yisho. Torah Shabal Peh begins with Seydas Roim. It's Chai Yisho, the mitzvahs that one does walking out of the field. Parashas Veschanon is a yichut between Chai Olam and Chai Yisho, which means that a person now, even though his she'ifas for godless, she'ifas and Torah have to be great. But nevertheless, the person has got to live the life. He's got to be Mekadah Shem Shemayim. He's got to be Shem Shemayim, Mishayim, Alpiv. He's got to make a blend. He's got to make this yichud between Chai Olam and Chai Yisho. 
That's what the luchas was. The luchas was ben adam lechaver ben adam lemokah. And Rashi says in Kesisos luchas luchas without a vav. It's luchas. It's one luchas. A yid ben adam lechaver ben adam lemokah. A person has to have shiva for godless. Or a mitzacheni. A person's got to know that the ben adam lechaver lechaver is going to achieve godless and ben adam lechaver as well. But godless doesn't just mean ben adam lemokah. It means ben adam lechaver. The two are bound together. Luchas without a vav. The helig chasim soifa. On the pasuk of Dabel Kol Adas Bnei Yisraelim A Kadoshim Tiu Ki Kadosh Ani A Yid has to be a Kadosh. What is a Kadosh? Why is the mitzvah Kadoshim Tiu said Kol El Adas Yisrael? Rashi says is mitzvah Zunera Bahakel. Why does the whole Klal Yisrael? Why is Hashem talking to the whole Klal Yisrael? Says the Helik Achasim Soifa Kadoshim Tiu Ki Kadosh Ani. What does that mean? We 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 have to be Kadoshim because Hashem's Kadoshim. Rashi Frakes in the Kasha Yachol Kamoini. What does it mean Kadoshim Ki Kadosh Ani? We are we, and the Rabbanu Shalom is Rabbanu Shalom. Says the Helik Chasim Soifa Mor He says there's nobody more involved in the Bria, on daily, on a rega, on every moment, being mzana mafarnis, beit zakinim, everything like the Rabbanu Shalom. There's nobody more involved in the world than Rabbanu Shalom. There's nobody more removed from the world. Nobody more removed from the world than the Rabban Shalom. Not Shaya Chas V'Shalom, it's Gashmus Chas V'Shalom. Rabban Shalom is Mufresh, Mufadil Mikal Oilam, more than anything else. And the Rabban Shalom is more Rangitin in the world, more than anybody else. He says the Chasm Soiva, that's Kedusha. Kedusha is somebody that on one hand, he's so Kodosh, but on the other hand, he knows how to be Melamech and Nehmer Mitzvah Zuba Hakel. He knows how to be, he knows how to speak, he knows how to utilize his talents to help people to, for this world as well. So this is really, I think, an akuda that Amanoach Yedidenu Hayoko, Talmidi Hayoko Vachovev, Ari possessed in such a great way. Ari was somebody, Ari was somebody that had a lot of talents, had a lot of worldly talents. Ari was good in computers. Ari was has talented in music and playing instruments. Ari was a very talented person. With Sacheni, Ari was somebody that had she'ifas for godless and just for godless. She, all his she'ifas were totally ruchni. But Ari wasn't a person that was removed from Metzias. Ari wasn't somebody that was removed from people's needs. Ari could go into somebody's tzorochem. Ari understood the world. He understood people's needs. He understood the emotions. He understood how to make everybody feel comfortable at home. This blend that Ari had between somebody on one hand, his ben Adam le Mokoim and his she'ifas, was so great. He had nothing in his life other than just wanting to grow. Mitzat he had nothing in life other than caring for other people, caring for his mishpocha, caring for his parents, for his in-laws, to say a good word. He knew how to get on with everybody. He knew exactly what each person, each person needed. He knew how to blend. He, as as Rebar just mentioned earlier, his journey from OJ, Lakewood East, um, Lakewood in America, um, and Munis Yisrael, Kaleen, and, and everybody felt, as you can see from the countries, everybody felt so at home. Everybody felt that Ari was there, you did. Everybody felt that Ari belonged in their cries, Ari belonged in their, in their society. And that's a, that's a Mordeka Yichud, a Mordeka Chibur between the Chai Oilam and the Chai Yisho. And this is something that we have to learn from. Every person has to have Sheifas in Godless for Shtaitzach. But Mitzacheni, a person's got to know that the Ben Adam Lechaver and Ben Adam Lemokoim is Hainu Hach. It's a Luchas without a Vav. And this is one of the many, many lessons that we have to learn from Ari. Ari understood when it came to Chinuch Abonim. He understood needs. And not only that, he researched. He researched everything to see if it was okay and if it wasn't okay. Everything he did to perfection in Chinuch. To make sure that his children get the best. On one hand, the Shtib is a Shtib that Be'emes is Muvdl. Is Muvdl. It's a Frum Shtib. It's a, a Shtib which is Muvdl from, 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 from the rest of society. Mitzacheni, the Lechtige Kindelach are normal, 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 normal people. And this is really what 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 uh, this nakuda that we're bringing out. The Ebrish the Halfen. I mentioned again, as I said, there's a lot more to say. There's more, there's more, there's more sharing tonight. The Ebrish the Halfen. Emetz Hashem. Ari should be a melech yosha on the tzebrochen of parents, on the tzebrochen of kinderloch, on the tzebrochen of yididim, on the tzebrochen of everybody. Everybody be'emes feels a great a loch, a big, a big, big void and a big vacuum that has to be filled in Emetz Hashem. And as the tzaddikim said, that after all the Klal Yisrael has been through, all the tzaras the Klal Yisrael has been through, Tchias Hamesim will begin immediately when Mitzvah Mashiach Tzedkeno. Instead of being a tkufa that is very far from each other, we're going to be zorcha, just like we're going to be zorcha, lekuli al memoid, 
them, Kulalma, everybody feels that we're going to be Zoycha to Mashiach Tzedkena Bekorov, we're going to be Zoycha Mitz Hashem to Tchis Amesim Bekorov, Kipshutoi, and we'll be Zoycha Mitz Hashem to be reunited with Ari, and to be reunited with Ari's smile, to be reunited with, 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 with Ari's godless and Ari's Tzidkis and Ari's Torah and Ari's Chesed and Mitz Hashem. And Mitz Hashem, we should be Zoycha Mitz Hashem that these days, days that she in his Hapech, the best of English was Nechrav because of Sinas Chinam. Ari just brought his smile, his whole being, his whole personality was mamish avas chinam. The av and the chesed he did to people was poshet bechinam. He went out of his way. There's uh, things that I've heard that are not even in the countries about how he went out of his way, mamish, out of his way just to help people. Shalal manos lekabel pras poshet and avas chinam. Ari went up to Shemaim. Ari is now standing by the kisa kovet. Ari is now being royish. Ari is saying, and the pamali shemalo saying that Ari is a semel, a symbol of avas chinam that should be mavatel the chinam. We should be zorich mitz Hashem to the Gula Shleiman to binyan beis mikdash sheni v'sifratenu mitz Hashem b'meher b'yomeinu amen. We're going to continue with the uh, serving of the Suda, but um, I, I mentioned more the name Morty Rosby before, and Morty Rosby has become an extension of Ari's family. Ari and Morty went to Skokie Yeshiva 25 years ago, and when Morty heard through the class chat that Ari needed a refuah, Morty made it his business to be, to be at Ari's side through the thick and thin. Morty was at Hadassah at seven o'clock in the morning to give chizek to Ari so he could make it through his treatments. And he didn't stop there. He continued and continued coming. So Morty, first of all, thank you. And now I'll be mechabed you to say a few words. And in this chus of your great, great chesed, you should also be zaychet to refush lema. For sure, uh, Rabbanim, um, I actually feel very honored that I had a chance to uh, speak this evening. Um, I requested it. Um, I wasn't able to make it to the Levaya. I wanted to, uh, but I actually had to be in between two different hospitals, try to get that through in one day, which was almost impossible, but I guess Ari didn't want me to be there. Um, so Ari, you're gonna have to forgive me, um, but, uh, I feel very honored and privileged to be able to speak this evening. Um, to live, um, to continue living in your legacy for what you're all about. Um, as uh, Dr. Tversky mentioned, uh, Ari and I went to uh, Skokie together. Uh, for He was there for 11th and 12th. I remember him coming in as an outsider, and I was one of these type guys that always wanted to make everybody feel at home and um, and feel part of the family and feel part of everything and not feel left out and to be a friend of everybody's uh, because that's what I want of myself. Um, and I always just like was that, um, that type of individual because that's just how my personality was and is. Um, and then you know, we came to Herzl, and I used to actually hang out at OJ every Thursday night because I, I was the one that I made Aliyah that summer with my family from Chicago. Um, and uh, I had a car, and I used to go from Karen Biavna every Thursday night. I used to go to OJ, and we used to get a, a bunch of the Hever together and just hang out there. It was in their uh, two-by-two gym, a <laughs> uh, hole in the wall, and uh, it was by the caravans, and just like whatever, just hang and just schmooze and have a good time. Uh, high school was fantastic. Uh, I'll never forget the, uh, our, we have a class uh, chat that uh, I think it was John Donath's idea actually, Dr. John Donath. And um, he, uh, and the picture that uh, put on there was our uh, senior class picture. And you see Ari's incredible smile there on the right side, uh, right, right in front of me. And I used to show that to everybody. I used to bring our, uh, I came to the hospital, and when I came to the hospital, once I found out that uh, Ari was uh, 
in the hospital and not doing great, I said, um, I have to do everything in my power to help a friend, as a friend would do for me in need. So in my pain and all the stuff that I was going through and going through at the time, I made it my business too. Like Dr. Tversky said, I would get up, Daven Hashkama, which is something I never did, um, and I would go and be at the hospital. And um, I heard Ari was um, giving issues to the doctors and the team not to go to radiation therapy, and I said, that's not going to happen with me. No, I don't take no for an answer. And um, I said, Ari, get out of bed. I'm here. We're going downstairs. I'm going to wheel you down. We're going to get through it, and we'll come back up. And um, I said, uh, I'll be... I'll talk to you while you're lying there on the table, and we'll get it done and come back up to your room. The nurses and doctors can understand how who I was. I said, I'm not anybody. I'm just Morty. I'm a friend of Ari's, and he needs my help. So that's what I would do for the rest of the rounds that he had to go through, which were 15 or 20. I wasn't keeping track. I wasn't keeping count. I just, um, I spent half my day there and then half the day where I had to be in the hospitals, where I had to be to take care of my appointments and whatever. And when I wasn't feeling well, I was on the couch at my house until I had um, the morphine pump installed. Um, so that's how I'm able to walk now. So it helps me get through the day. Um, so we, uh, and Ari and I would reminisce, and we would, I would bring my yearbook every day to the hospital, and then in the, um, uh, the various area, places where he was, and we would just like go through the pictures, and I, he would ask me, Morty, so what was this? And he said, I'm having a hard time remembering. I said, so we'll go through it again, and I'll tell it again and again. And then there were times that it was hard for him to dive in, and I said, how about this? to make a deal. You say I'm main, you listen to me, and I'll dive in out loud, and then just you'll answer I'm main. And that way I know that you're paying attention to me, and that, um, and I know that I did my part um, in helping you get through the davening. So that's what we did. And we did that for, you know, when he was able to, when he was uh, feeling uh, enough strength to do that. And so we did that, and you know, and then I got others involved, and my class involved, and and Kolakova too, our class that um, helps out in various ways and has helped out in various ways. Um, big Yeshikov to my twelfth grade class in Chicago, or Skokie Yeshiva, um, and uh, I don't have to mention names; everybody knows who they are. And um, big yeshe to class, classmates. That's what a class is all about. It's not just uh, being there in the, the most uh, incredible moments and the happiest moments. It's actually sometimes being there in the hardest moments. And that's what a friend is. A real true friend is being there when the times are tough. And I remember when Ari, we were at the bar mitzvah, and uh, friends asked me that evening, they were WhatsApping me, Morty, I don't understand. Um, at uh, your bar mitzvah. And, uh, Ari asked me in the middle of the bar mitzvah, he said, uh, Morty, does anybody know I'm sick? And first of all, people on there couldn't even understand how he was standing and dancing. And I said, it's, you don't understand, it's, it's actually a miracle. It's a true maze. Uh, Kaddish Baruch Hu granted the fact that I was there, and the second I walked in, it was like Ari wasn't sick for those hours. It didn't make any sense to me. I can't explain it. I don't know. And uh, my my classmates were like, they didn't understand, like, but he doesn't look sick. I said, Kaddish Baruch Hu gave him the chance to enjoy his son's simcha. And Ari, I said, Ari, what's the difference? Does it make a difference? We're having a good time together. Let's just enjoy in the simcha. Nothing else cares. Nothing else matters. And um, I remember the bris, and after the bris, um, uh, Yochanan and I went to, went to the suda, and then from the suda I went to the hospital. 
to be with Ari, to tell him how incredible the Brissa was, and the Suda, and that it was very special, and I was and that I was able to take part in it, and even made it more special. So, just incredible things of what a chaver does for a chaver, what a true chaver is. And Ari taught me what that is. I was in the hospital a couple weeks ago after an operation, after one of my several operations, and I spoke at Shal Shudis, and I just got up there and spoke in Hebrew, and uh, and we're telling everybody what what it means to um, what it means not to give up, and what it means to smile, and what those two things could do to help a person through the toughest day. And they gave me a standing ovation. I didn't understand why. I said, why is it Magieli? I didn't, I'm just another person who's going through a rough time. And then next, this, the day, you're, if you're having a tough day, you'll remember my smile and what a smile does and what, how it portrays the next person. And it'll get the next person to smile. And I went to my uh, surgeon's office this morning. <laughs> And I said, before we sat down at my appointment, I said, can I read you a letter? He said, what? I said, yeah, can I read you a letter? And um, I basically, the letter was that it was a Karsatov. I had a Karsatov to him, his team, his staff, secretaries, nurses, cleaners, everybody in the department that helped me over the course of the week. And I said, this is a small token of my appreciation. I gave him a bottle of wine. And, I said, but that's not what it is. It's you. It's you that made it the difference. Because you taught you taught me what um, how it is to be. Uh, thank you. Um, you you were when you looked at me. You didn't look me at look to me as a patient. You looked to me as an individual, as a person, and says that says a lot about you as a doctor. I don't care how important the person is. It's if they don't have the right mida in their heart, they're nothing. They're nothing but a piece of, piece of filth. And that's what says a lot what a person. I always said, I always tell people, it's not what you have on your head. It's what's in your heart. And that says a lot about who you are. And, um, you know, Baruch and I, Dr. Tversky and I have an incredible relationship, and a part of it, a big part of it is actually through Torah. Uh, we learned Dafyomi together. We're a big part of Ravelli Stefanski's uh, Dafyomi Shir. I never thought I would pick up Gemara, and after 16 and a half years, I made a friend a deal. I dare, he dared me. And uh, I remember when I was with him, with another friend in chemotherapy session, and uh, I said, how about this? You know, if you could battle cancer, I could battle the Gemara. And now I'm 11 Masechdas in. So Baruch Hashem. Um, I've, uh, I use my time wisely. I was doing it sitting next to Ari. I was doing it when he would sleep. I would just listen to my Dafyomi or do Dafyomi. And, uh, you know, when Ari put out the Sefer, incredible. I have so much to learn from Ari. What a tremendous Talmud Chacham he, him, and Shira have uh, really brought up an incredible, incredible family, Baruch Hashem. And they'll continue in their Abba's legacy and their Tati's legacy because their Tati really showed them who, what a person should really be like. And I saw that in a uh, Purim video that I was watching, uh, what Ari would do with the kids on Purim instead of going out and getting drunk is actually he was there for the family and showing the family what Purim is really all about. And uh, that's Ari. That was Ari. I know Ari's looking down, watching over all of us. When I go into an operation, I know I look up and I know Ari's there to help me get through it and all the other rough times that I'm going through. And I know Ari will always be there watching over me. Thank you very much.
Sky, <coughs> Marty. Ari was well known for rolling out the red carpet. When he had a task to, task to do, whether it be big or small, to give it his all, Ari got it done. Whether it's helping with his kinderloch at home in shul, making everything, making everything perfect. Mayor Ashkenazi and his wife were also like that, and always giving it their all. So I'm going to ask Mayor to share some dvarim shabalei with us. Ari's parents, the rest of the mishpacha, and the special chaverim. I think we all came out together from the shiva in the last few weeks with a similar feeling. While thinking to ourselves, I thought I knew Ari, Zechonah Lebrocha. I know him pretty well. But I see that there's much, much, much more I didn't know about him. No matter how close you were to Ari, you now realize you still had a lot more to learn. And this is exactly how Ari used to view every single person that he came in contact with. Whether he just met him or knew him for a long time, he didn't just look at what was in front of him. Ari saw that there's a bigger person over here. May not to be able to, you may not be able to see it on the surface level, but there's much, much more deep inside this Yid. Much more than <clears throat> we ourselves, even though we had with, within us. He felt the true respect that Ari had for every single person. that he came in contact with. Watching him interact with people was a lesson, not only of how to treat people, but how to look at people, how to view people. <clears throat> he was able to see the pure potential and the real deep potential that each person had within him. not that he didn't hurt people or insult them, which I absolutely never saw anything even close to that. There was no such thing, no remez. But Ari lived with Chazal, asked each and every one of us, He made everybody around him feel like malachim, feel like kings. He bought people things, made people presents, music mix, exactly what you needed. Smooth on any, any, any topic. He was there for you when you needed a caring friend. Small example, when my father passed away so more than a year ago, a long, very long, delayed, five, six hour Levaya, Ari understood that I needed him there, and he stayed till the very, very end, when it was time for him to tell me, you're no longer an Oina, you're an Ovel, you need to put on these crocs. I have your crocs for you. And the next day showing up at the shiva, of course, with every sefer under the sun, on Hilchas Avelus. 
all these examples that we've heard from everybody, but everything he did for everybody else was an example, was an expression of Ari being Mamlech Chaveroi. He was Mamlech Chaveroi ben Achasurach. Treated everybody like a king. His whole mind was on other people, not involved with himself overly, always stagging within himself, but always looking that other people should be stagging as well. Did everything right, right to the last detail. Everything was perfect, as we all know. Just right, as they say. Built swarm shrunks in his house. Who else would build the swarm shrunks in himself if not the people who built the swarm shrunks in the bells of Besmejish in Yerushalayim? The holes that hold up the swarm just doesn't go. You need the passim, the metal passim. Everything's got to be till the last T. But what, what, line, what lied under this nakuda, which was so strong? Ari for perfection. It wasn't perfectionism. It wasn't trying to be perfect. There was something very, very deep in Ari's heart. Which is being expressed, expressed in all the different things we're hearing and we're talking about. Everyone's talking about. I think... So the Ramchal calls Shalmei Hadas. There's people who are looking just for Shlemus. They understand that the Eilam Aruchni is all Shlemus. And that's all they want. They want a full connection to Ruchnis and a full connection to the Rabbani Shlemus. Nothing less. This is what was driving Ari from beginning to end with every single thing that he was involved in and he wanted to be perfect. It wasn't that the things should be perfect. It's because that nothing less than perfect is not real. It's not Ruchni's dick. It's a fact. Shami Shalmi Hadas. Right, there's so many svarim, svarim, and more svarim, more svarim, the new version, the old version, with the footnotes. Harry Zechariah of Racha was looking for one thing, not to buy svarim, not to have a big library, but he was looking for clarity. I was looking for the clarity in every single sugi he touched. He just wanted to know it fully, fully, fully clear. Bishlemus. He found any safer that spoke about any nakuda that could bring him shlemus. He grabbed it, held on to it, learned it, underlined it. To Marshall Miss Nakuda, I want to just talk about a, a very, very central point which you find in Chazal, the same Chazal mentioned above. That there's Shailim Leila Odom, Shamea Ve'esrim Tanim Delio, who says, Imlachto is Haver Cholecho Benachas. But the second question, which is right after, before, I don't know, is asked. Imlachto es koincho alecho were you mamlechter benchlil. His takanon, his rule book, his agreement, in Yanim with the Tfila with the kids, and with Yisrael. Story, I remember him telling me he was fighting whatever Bismedjus they were building. They can't have outlets in the Besmejus. No such thing. Can you sign? A Besmejus is not an office. You don't put computers in a Besmejus. I already know how to use computers. They never use computers very well for what he needed to do. Put out his hail, you safer. There's a Tsuras a Besmejus. 
over and over again, we're hearing more and more stories. Just read through the, through the agreement, the Takanun they made for himself, Tainis Dibur, one after the other. What was, what, what, was it, what was it deep in his heart? What was Ari about? What was his Nakuda? What was he fighting for? So it's a bit smidgish. And Yeshiva Shemalo. Yeshiva Shemato. And they're supposed to be together. They're supposed to be one. In Ari's view of things, the Yeshiva Shemato and the Koilim and the Shuls, every bit smidgish. And the house, Mikdash Me'at, had to look just as much, just as close to Yeshiva Shomala as possible. He lived in Yeshiva Shomala and he was trying to bring Yeshiva Shomata to this world. Anything that didn't fit that standard needed to be taken care of. There was something to upgrade. Something you could do better in shul. He gave all his kachos till the end to try to organize that. In order for this bismedrash, another bismedrash, to look like a yeshiva shamalo. So remember Ari walking and walking and walking and walking. We all joined him in our walkings asking him if we could take a break, not for him, but for us. It was constantly walking, non-stop. We're asking, what, is, what exactly is it? Is it something in the brain? It's possible. So I was living and... And he wrote, hey, wrote, And he wrote to Chayu Lamabo, Ari was running to Chayu Lamabo. He was a Mahalech ben Oindim. Even in this world, we're walking one time, the streets of Beit are not far from here, and we uh, got a phone call, we're trying to organize a tefillah. You were here at the time, Tvila, let's get together, Thursday night, whatever it was. I didn't say much in the last bunch of months, but overhearing this conversation, the second I came, I, I hung up the phone. He said to me, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So said, where do you want to go? I want to go, we got to go, we need to go. He followed what we were saying to the best of his ability. He knew one thing. I need ruts. I'm continuing. I need to grow. I'm not stopping. We all could be standing around. Others saw things that could have been better. You could make upgrade. You could do better in a shul. You could be do it better in a best medrash. Ari would see such a thing and start running with his full kachas. Look around and say, I mean, Baruch Hashem, we're also Bnei Aliyah. We're also growing. But to Ari, we were considered Oyimdim. Why, why is everyone standing around? Why are you always looking? Does anybody see what's going on here? He was a Rotz. He was a Mahalach Ben Oyimdim Oleyle. Compared to Ari, even people who are on the move were considered Oyimdim. He was Mamish, a Ben Oyimdim <coughs> Itan Katz called when he was coming to Eretz Yisrael, called months before, wanted to fly in special. Ended up being here Sukkot time and he was expressing in pain before he went to visit the Mishpacha and play for them and Sameach them. And he said, when he thinks of a beautiful Yid, he thinks of Ari Tversky. What's the Tiferes? What's the beauty of Ari Tversky? <coughs> 
how can you manage, how can one manage such a strong fire inside that you're not, you're a rot, you're a hoylech, you need to change things, you need to fix things up. This world has to look like Yeshiva Shamala over here. And you see this all going on. At the same time, every single person, how could such a thing go together? As always in spoil, we were together trying to speak to different people who felt differently and things that Ari wanted changed, wanted, changed, wanted, wanted them to do better, whether it was in Koil and Shul, whatever it might have been. Mamish ni spoil. I couldn't believe that I'm watching somebody who felt so strongly, who talked to me before a fire, was sitting in front of people who didn't agree with him necessarily or didn't see his point of view. He spoke without any negias, binachas ruach, with a sweetness and with a caring. Mayor, we could talk to them. Let's discuss it with them. No problem to make people even as, as strong as I feel. Let me try to, let, let me try to convince them and let, at least let them see how, how, how I feel about things. Maybe they'll agree. I'm not trying to do something for myself. I'm doing something for Rabbi Nishayla. And how is it possible to be so involved in so many things with such perfection and to be so calm and pleasant throughout everything? Is Tiferis. Is the Tiferis that beauty of a beautiful Yid that we have to have so many years of, a, of strength and with chesed coming together forming a beautiful Tiferis Sarah's unique smile wasn't the only thing he inherited from his father It was a real, true emuna in the bones. Under any circumstances, all we heard was Dr. Tursky. Okay, Ari's on his way. He's on his way. A step closer to the Yeshua. The Yeshua is being prepared. Day after day. Tracy didn't leave any possible gestablos that a person could imagine untried. Every single person that had visited Ari would get a phone call at the end of the day. What did you see? What did you feel? How's he doing? Okay. He was always working on a new project, trying to figure out what else he could give him giving Ari all kinds of concoctions. Can you talk about this no more? This doesn't matter anymore. Supposedly, uh, things from all over the world, no one knew about, hospital didn't know about, was was allowed to know about. All we knew is that some, so to speak, Dr. Singer, which hope he does exist, was telling him, watching over and telling us exactly how, telling Dr. Twersky exactly what to do. Sending medicine over, putting it in in between, watching out for the cameras, so on and so forth. We were, Ari was in the, Ari was in the ICU for quite a long time. That's Kufa, month or two. And finally we went upstairs, Pnimit. Better at the time. And uh, Dr. Tversky was here. It was the first day he was up there. And of course, Dr. Tversky, with full enthusiasm, is ready to move forward. Next step to Ari's Yeshua. So he called the doctors. And the doctors finally came to the room when they finally found time for, for us. And as the doctors came in the room, so uh, he started sneaking out slowly, realizing that this is a... Uh, a discussion fitting for Mishpacha. But Dr. Tversky said, Mayor, stay in the room. I want you to know what's going on. I don't think we have to say what the doctor said. Kedarkom. 
And as the doctors left after a few minutes, Twitsy said, Mayor, did you hear what the doctor said? So I looked down, and I thought to myself, I knew I should have left before. That's what he said to me. I forget. He said, there's going to be a different shaliach for Ari. He, he doesn't want to be Ari's shaliach. It'll be somebody else. He continued, you know who Ari's shaliach is going to be? Famous Dr. Abe. Dr. Abe, who's Dr. Abe? Dr. Abister. He's taking care of Ari. He's watching over him. He's going to continue helping him. Tremendous amount of Amuna I learned from Dr. Tversky. First, they're seeing each other at Simcha's Mazel Tov here, Mazel Tov there. A little bit on the phone, Dr. Tversky. When speaking to Ari, I needed to use the term Abba and Ima, so he know he would know who Abba's calling. Abba's coming, Ima's coming. With the Weisses, it was Uncle Baruch. But today, to me, you're Rabbi Dr. Tversky. A tremendous amount of emunah from your gisha and the whole situation. The Misa, after all this, I see how Ari shared a common taiva, kiviochol, with the Rabbi Nishleilam. Shait Nisave, Akadish Baruchu, Leo is Loydir Batachtoinim. And this is the taiva that Ari lived with from beginning to end. This was what was burning inside him and caused everything that you saw, all the things that he did, all the things that he was involved in, making Yeshiva Shalmata like Yeshiva Shalmala, trying to make everything as perfect as possible. He wanted to create for the Rabbi Nishleilam a dira matachtoinim. As much as this world could look as close to the Ruchni Yastuk world as possible. He lived Kipshutoi Lakadeshem Shamayim this world. Kravi mentioned every place that he went, everything he did should be Bikidusha and to bring Tusha down to this world. And Ari Zuchanabracha left this world as well. Bekidush Hashem Gomor. Somehow, when Ari got his diagnosis, he expressed himself as if he was hearing what his fate was going to be. And he did exactly, if we can say, what the Hele Gitanoim did, Kablu Aleichem, Tzadikim, Yedidim. He said, Lahedia, explicitly, that he accepts everything Hashem is doing to him with full emuna, without any questions. Kidu Shem Shemai. This is from Shmuley, who very much wanted to be here, but uh, technical reasons wasn't able to, so he asked very much, uh, very much wanted to be to be part of this, so he sent me this, he sent us this uh, speech that he asked me to read. But I just have to say that it. Uh, if I would have had to speak, it would have been very hard to express uh, a lot of things from this past year and from the schusim of getting to know the Tversky family and a lot of uh, everything that went around and around. So the Abister 
had Rachmanis on me because there were a lot of things that wouldn't be possible to express in words. Um, but everybody should know there's a lot of things here that aren't possible to express in words. And um, nonetheless, we have to try. And with that, uh, I'm going to try to read here at least Shmuley's words. Uh, but I'm sure that that also is, Shmuley would have expressed to me as well, that these words are really not um, either all the words that really are meant to be expressed. Bechvod, the entire mishpacha, Rabbanim and all those here. Unfortunately, I'm not able to be here tonight, but I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to say a few words, or to share a few words. It's hard, even today, to speak about our Heilig Ari in past tense. Heilig, what a word. What a word to describe Ari. On Erev Yom Kippur, by Tvila Zaka, we talk about our eyes, ears, mouth, hands, and feet, and we talk about how the year that passed may not have been the best. But I was thinking about Ari, Heilige Ari, and when it comes to this, to his Heilige Goof, Tvila Zaka sounds something like this. Barasa bi'enayim uvehem chush haru'us, Liros behem mashakosi batayra ule kadesh of Sambarias called Davar Shabigudusha, the Chain Raisi. Barasa be as nine Lishmo divek tu shavadive Torah, the Chain Shamati. Barasa be pe veloshan vishinai, the Chay for Gomber Nasata behem koyach le dabber behem chamisha moitsos haoisius akadoshim, shall alef base. As a behem brasa shamayim by arts meloya behem araga terasha kadosha, the Chain di Barti. Barasa be a dime the Husha Mishus lasak behem be mitzvis, the Chain Asakti. Barasa bi raglaim alech le kodvar mitzvah, the chain halachti. Mishashti es kol evari matsasi oisom, tahor bekol mine taris. Oi, Helig, oi, Helig. With Ari, it's an understatement. We all know how much koiches Ari put into everything he did, how much pride he took in the life he built together with his wife, how much nachas he had with each and every one of his kindalach. Ari Smile told you everything you needed to know. We can literally journal every aspect of Ari's life and use it as a textbook for how things need to get done. Because that's what Ari did. He got things done, and he did it with a bren and a shmeichel. For the past month, we've cried, we've wondered, we have got upset. Many times we didn't know what we were feeling, but when a person isn't sure what they were feeling, that too is a feeling. It's called emptiness. At Choyzem Lublin 16, Ari's chair is empty, but only physically. The person who pushed the mishpacha to be the best it can be, the kinderlach, the shvoger who always had a good and kind word, the Ari that stood guard over all of us, the Rebbe Nishalem decided that Helege Ari was ready to rejoin him in Shemaim, no doubt sitting right next to him. And while we will never understand why he can't be here with us anymore, we have to look towards the future reaching deep inside and holding on to the Gvura Ari left with us. We all miss him and will continue to miss him forever. But we have to feed off the Gvura that Ari showed us how to use, to look deep into ourselves and realize how much Ari affected us and use that to strengthen ourselves. First and foremost, Shira, you are the rock on which the home you and Ari built will continue to be built on. Your strength is superhuman. You are and have been the strongest person I know. May the Yerbonah Shalom continue to give you the strength you need. May you only know Simcha and Gezunt, Nachas, Menucha, and Simcha Sachaim. Continue being the pillar of strength that you are. And to the pre precious diamonds that the Yerbonah Shalom gave you an Ari, Shaya Simcha, Binyamin, Rachel, Aaron, Nechama, David, Nachum, Mindy, Malki, and Yoichanon. Look inside yourselves. Each of you have a very strong part of Tati in you. And while you all are all different, there are so many things that are the same. The Tversky home is, will be, and has always been a place with meaning, fun, yashras, simcha, freilichkeit. A place where things get done, where things are accomplished. And it happens not because of one person, but because of all of you. And so, while Tati won't be there in person, he will continue living in each of your hearts. When you do something good, think about Tati. Think about how much nachas he's having watching you. And when you have that good feeling, realize that's Tati smiling at you. 
Nothing stopped Tati from doing what's the best for his mishpacha when he was there, when he was here. Kal v'choymer, when he is right next to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He's there, he is, and he will always be very much there. He will continue to do for all of you, but in, different, but in a different way and from a different place. There are a few things, though, that I am sure of. To Dr. and Mrs. Torsky and all of your children, to my parents and my sisters and brothers-in-laws, and to all of us here, may the Rebbeinu Shalom bring no more tsar. May we be there for each other, no matter what the tzarech. But let it be be'ezus Hashem for simchas. Let's smile, because that's what Ari wants us to do. To have simchas achayim, to kvel, to dance, to be mesameach. To live life to the fullest. Let us all live for Ari. Tehei nishmasot surah b'tzorachayim.